All right. The challenge is how to um, start your two-sided marketplace. So just to let you know, if you are building something like this, that's going to be one of the first questions that you're, the investor is going to ask. A serious investor is going to say, how do you solve the chicken versus egg problem? Because that's just, you have to understand investors and in startup, if you want to go for startup investors, they want to see, um, they want to see how are you automating or scaling your customer acquisition model? It's really what it comes down to. Can you automate it without having to go through the painful process of, you know, direct sales or salespeople and, you know, all that stuff. And that's going to be tough. So they're going to say chicken and egg. How do you solve that? Which, which came first, chicken or the egg? And the answer is you got to figure out how to get both. You got to, you know, like get that going and so here's, here's the general move that happens, okay? So this is you, this is your startup, you, and you are the marketplace. Now, what happens is now you need to add supply and then you're gonna be adding demand. All right. So first, what you're doing is you're trying to figure out this, this marketing right here. So this requires marketing. And this requires marketing. Or customer acquisition is what happens. But the problem is, this is where most marketplaces or founders, they fall down is because they're like, what they really want, they don't want to be attached to you, the marketplace. They really want this. So it becomes how do you market them to each other is what it really comes down to. So let's use Airbnb as an example. Airbnb had the supply and they're trying to connect it with the demand, but they realized that there was friction that was happening in this process. So you know what the Airbnb guys did is they flew out. So they're on the West Coast on weekends. They would fly out to New York to take pictures of the supply and show them how to upload photos to their directory because they realized pictures were the, the good thing. You like you needed good pictures and most suppliers had no idea how to take pictures of the inventory to create demand. So that's how they did it. And then soon they started gaining some insights. And first Airbnb was like, you had to rent an air mattress or like there, it was an Airbnb and you had to be there to serve them breakfast. But then someone said, Hey, I don't want to be here. Can I just rent my stuff out? Like, you know, I, I've got inventory. And then, so they figure they gain like all these different insights. So the question is, how do you market to each other and that's literally the thinking that you have to go into is you have to become a marketing a marketing company and your client is are the suppliers right and then your target are the people with demand and what you want to do is virtually eliminate yourself so founders make the mistake by promoting oh we're a marketplace come list your stuff you know etc but your traction, I'm sorry, if this is getting messy. Your traction will be measured upon transactions. And let me just be super clear about this. An investor is going to want to see your metrics based on transactions, not based on how many suppliers and how many you know, customers. They don't care because you're not solving the marketplace problem. So let me just highlight this. This becomes the primary battle. This is the battle right here. What is going on? And if you can figure that out, you win. Okay. 
And so that's where you're, you don't build the marketing play marketplace. Don't chase the marketplace. Don't chase suppliers and don't, don't chase the supply. Don't chase the demand, chase the transactions between the supply and the demand. So that's how you do it. So now it's a matter of breaking down. All right. What are the tactics that we can go to educate the people who have the demand that the supply is actually there. And that is a conundrum, a puzzle piece, et cetera, because you're trying to change people's behavior. So in your case, Madvi, you're trying to change people thinking about, oh, if I want a meal, I can go to the grocery market and buy, you know, a frozen dinner or, you know, something like that, or go to a restaurant, et cetera, or hire, you know, call Uber Eats or what what's the other one dash door dash right so you got to change and educate and differentiate and get their attention which is going to be the challenge that you're facing all right so let's go into brainstorm mode 